everyone, welcome to the channel. If you're new here to GQR, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We do gentlemen's product of style and fitness here, so if you're about that, go ahead and hit that button right down there. Welcome everyone. So today I got a banger of a review for you today. We're gonna be checking out the brand new Shavu pomade. Now, as you guys know, this is a collaboration pomade. Um, this is a collaboration with Dre, Dre Drexler's Shavu company and uh, Mike from Modern Man TV. They basically got together and uh, came up with this pomade for, well, Mike came up with the pomade for Shavu. So I'm um, very, very, very interested to see how this is gonna play out. Um, I'm a big fan of his Dauntless line. Um, his pomade is actually one of my everyday products I like to use. So uh, very curious to see how it's gonna compare and um, just to see how unique this product is gonna be. So um, definitely can't wait to get right into this now. Just like anything on this channel, it's gonna be going over a couple things. We're gonna be checking out the packaging, the scent, the texture, the application, and then my overall verdict on this pomade. Let's go ahead and get right into this and get right into the packaging. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So you're looking at a plastic four ounce container, and this is a black and white container, as you can see, just black plain lid on top right there. It says pomade home brewed four ounce firm to high hold medium shine and then right there on the back it has the directions the ingredients and just a couple things about the product same thing here just a couple things just a nice little simple lid i like it's got just a little bit of nice shine to it right there at the bottom the expiration so um definitely really minimalistic i really like it. it's got that chevel style to it kind of like almost that salon yet homebrew style so um i definitely dig the packaging all right, everyone, let's go ahead and get into the scent. So let's go ahead and bust this bad boy open. And right away, you just get a really strong citrusy scent. It just smells like straight like straight citrus, like a little bit of lime, a little bit of orange. It's it's nice. It's nice and fresh. Um, it's not too overpoweringly strong. Once you actually start emulsifying, you don't really smell it, especially you don't smell it in the hair anymore. So um, it's just when you open it, it has a really nice citrusy scent. So um, I like the scent. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and get into the texture. So let's go ahead and bust this bad boy open. And as you can see, you are looking at a white pomade. So let's go ahead and get right into it. And right away when you get it, it's just silky smooth, almost like a cream, but there's just a little bit of a thickness to it. Like right there, as you can see, you definitely get that thickness and that stickiness right away from all the waxes. So let's go ahead and get in there. And as you can see, once you start to emulsify, it starts to just break up super smooth. But once again, that stickiness, you can feel it. You can feel the waxes just come together and um it still breaks up very nice like i said just a sort of a little bit of attack and a little bit of stickiness but uh definitely pretty good emulsification so i definitely like the texture all right everyone let's go ahead and get into the application so let's go ahead and bust this bad boy open and let's go ahead and get right into this so let's go ahead and start off with the dime size run right there let's go ahead and emulsify it and right away you know this is just very easy to get out really creamy and let's go ahead and start emulsifying. As soon as you start emulsifying, you feel that stickiness. It just definitely has got some stick to it, a little bit of tack, you know, just a little bit of dryness. As you can tell, you can just, it starts to like stop your hands. So let's go ahead. Once you emulsify, let it go invisible. And my hair is washed, guys, and I'm going in with a bit of a damp application. And that's just because um, I figured this to me was the smoothest way um, with the dry application you could do it too um, There is a bit of tug and pulling once again this product because of all the waxes and the stickiness It will tug and pull when it's dry. So um, I just rather avoid that. So I just go in with the damp application Let's go ahead and get a dime size and when you do it with the damp application, it's a super smooth Super smooth application. So that's what I'm looking for not really into the tug and pull Unless it's my lady doing the tugging and pulling. <laughs> so let's go ahead and emulsify it again. And let's get the front. And just like, you know, any pomade, you want to really get that pomade in there. Um, you don't really need too much. But for me, you know, and usually most pomade users, we like to really layer it on. So let's do the front. And I'm going to do one more dime size. And then just to really get this pomade in there. I want to make sure I get it everywhere. So let's go ahead and emulsify and there you go a little bit of power on there bam goes invisible and let's get it side to side and just get it everywhere really get it and like i said so you get that nice stamp application it's pretty good as you can tell like by the stickiness you can see that it's definitely a very sticky pomade which is very unique it's um definitely a very unique pomade um it's you can't really compare it to anything else 
out on the market just because I said like it's just it's very unique you know from the the texture of it and um, the stickiness it reminds you of a lot of things like of a wax but as you can see once you layer it on really well you get a very very good 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 hold it's I mean it just the comb breezes through like I said once you find that right damp application as you can see it's just very nice and very smooth you can see the hold working in there it's nice and just soft and I mean man this application is great so as you can tell I mean I'm getting a great style I mean just doing what a great unorthodox pomade is supposed to work it's working great so um definitely love the application all right everyone let's go ahead and go over the final style Everyone, let's go ahead and give this my overall verdict. So from one being the least and five being the best, I definitely want to give this pomade a 4.8. I thought it was a damn near perfect product. It was really great. Now, um, like I told you guys, I was going to talk about the Dauntless pomade because um, some people are saying that the ingredients are very similar. Um, how is it to, you know, the Dauntless pomade to this pomade? Let me tell you guys that um, there are two very different pomades. Definitely, um, like I said, this is a very unique pomade. Uh, I would say you'd think that it would have a lot of similarities, but it really doesn't. It's like day and night. So I know that's that that's, that sounds crazy, but um, it is. And this, like I said, this just has a different feel to the Dauntless one. It's um a little bit more drier, a little bit more tack. Uh, want to say you know just mostly want to see the difference. It's, it's a bit dry, you know. Like like I said, that's why I got a 4.8 and out of five was because I thought it had a bit of dryness, a bit of tack. If you go in really dry application for me, it was a bit of tug and pull. I didn't really like that but with the damp application it was as you guys saw super smooth very easy to get into the hair very easy to comb your hair so um I definitely really like that and then like once again you know my hair looks great so like I said this is a very unique pomade and very different um it reminded me a lot too of a wax a little bit of paste property so like I said it was just very unique nothing out in the market I can really compare it to because it's, it's its own thing so that's definitely really good and I really liked that about it that it was just a very unique pomade really liked it now washability very easy like it's water based you know water shampoo conditioner comes out completely out very easy hold was great um, I want to say solid six to eight hours uh, I mean, it was just a great pomade and also the ingredients, ingredients, very good ingredients. There's four really good essential oils in here. Very good for your hair. So once you wash your hair, it just feels very nourished, very nice. And like I said, the hold, um, it's got, it's not like that super, doesn't harden up. It's a very soft hold. You can rework it. You can recomb your hair if you want. So definitely a very nice touch. It's got a medium shine. It's not very shiny, not very, it's not matte either, but it's just like right in the middle. It's just got a bit of a natural shine. So I really like that too. And once again, I mean, my hair looks great. You know, I love the hold. It holds really good. Obviously for me, the more you put it on, the more of a hold you're going to get. Um, obviously the less then you'll get like if you just do two dime size i got like a, a solid medium hold if you do three you're gonna get a pretty firm hold so um definitely like that like i said it was just a really great pomade so definitely check it out everyone i'm gonna go ahead and put a link below where you can get yourself some shabu pomade check it out well everyone this concludes our video i definitely enjoyed making it for you guys please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to follow me on instagram tell my subscribers i love you guys and I just wanted to say one last thing. Um, I want to thank you guys for um, sticking around. As you guys know, I got COVID. I was very sick. Um, it's the reason I wasn't making videos. I'm so happy to finally just feel better and be back here. Um, I'm alive. I feel so grateful. And I'm just here, you know, doing what I love to do. And that's making reviews for you guys. So I want to thank you guys so much for that. And um, appreciate it. Thank you guys. And I'll see you here next time on GQR Style and Fitness.